Hi everyone, this is a short video on how to prevent students from seeing the jump to option being shown during the exams. It's a video for the manual that I posted earlier. Um, <clears throat> so the main issue that we're trying to avoid is something similar like, like this jump to option is shown at the bottom of the quiz page when the students are attempting the quiz or exam. So let me show you how it's shown. Okay, so when the students <coughs> start att attempting the quiz, right at the bottom of the uh, quiz page where the questions are displayed, this jump to option is shown. And the jump to option provides shortcut links to the course content. And they can simply click on the con title of the contents here and go back to the course content and access the resources there and probably copy some content then or look at the contents there and answer the questions. So this is the issue that we are trying to avoid. So basically to avoid this, we will change some a few settings in the quiz setup. So let's get to it. <coughs> so basically there are two ways that you can, sorry, the there may be some other ways that we can avoid this, but at the moment we I want to show you only one option that we can camera we can avoid this issue. So on your quiz setup page or status page, you look, click on this icon and click edit settings, or you can scroll down and look for the administration block. And under the administration block, under the quiz administration block, click on edit settings. Either way, it will take you to the same setting page. And remember that you can do this if you have created the link already, the link for the quiz already. But if you are creating a new link, when creating a new link, it will take you to this same page where you can play around with the different settings for the quiz. So, <clears throat> the setting that we are interested in now is, if we scroll further down, now the extra restrictions on her terms. Now, if we click on this section, it shows the required password uh, setting and some others, other settings which are hidden. So, let's click on show more and see now and it, when we click on show more it expands this uh, section here and we, we are able to see some additional settings being displayed now the very setting that we are interested in now is the browser security setting now by default i mean it's not by default but uh, according to my setting the browser security is none at the moment. That's why the students were able to see this jump to option because the, when they click on the start attempt button, the, quiz, the, the questions were displayed on the same uh, course page. In the same uh, tab that the link was open. So, Let's try and change this option. So we will now change this open option to require, we have two other options. We have required the use of save exam browser and full screen pop-up with JavaScript security. Now, require the use of save exam browser, it's enabled, but right now uh, it's halfway done and we are working, we are still working on it. So for now, we will select the full screen 
screen pop up with some JavaScript security. Okay, so this is basically what we wanted to change. So let's go down and click save and display. Okay, now <coughs> I will change my role to student. And okay, since I attempted this question uh, quiz already, it's showing me this continuous last attempt. attempt. So let's try click on this and see. Okay, so this is what happens. Now, when we, when I click on the continue attempt uh, link, it automatically opens this new window that displays only the question. And this time, there's no jump to option being shown again. So the student can freely navigate freely back and forth through the, through the this page and answer the questions so that's basically that this is how you can change your browser security setting to avoid or prevent the jump to option being shown during your exams if you have any questions or need some clarification regarding this, please don't hesitate to come see us at the Center for Learning and Teaching Office.